What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as you can see, we got my guys here, Kenny and Ira. What's good, boys? How y'all doing? Doing good, doing blessed. All right, that's a bet, that's a bet. Now, look, this is called Get a Bucket, right? And normally, I do have the Gab trivias on, on deck. I'm going to just speed past them. Um, I, I wanted to talk with y'all boys about a couple – about a couple NBA teams, right? And I'm gonna just do it like this. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Atlantic Division, real quick. Yeah. Because this next team that I'm about to bring up kind of has a player that I talk highly on, but people say something similar too. Like, you know, you got to now that you got a game plan on him, you didn't expect him to do this much. So we'll see how it shakes as well. But the Brooklyn Nets, they got Mikael Bridges, who I say is going to be all NBA next year. All right. Um, the all right. Like, it's fair to say they're the dark horse of the East. They're not. They're, they're not, not. They're not doing much. Of, I don't like Mikael Bridges is great now, but I just want to put a retrospect out there. Um, when they traded Kyrie and Kevin Durant, they lost a lot of games at there. Mikael Bridges was hooping, but they were losing a lot. Games they lost a lot of games. You do know that they maintain that play. They maintain field, you know? maintaining and winning is and, and they like, maintain. Like, but, but they they maintain, 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 maintain it with no off season. Are you have maintained maintain maintain it with no planning? All right, okay, I got you. Cool, cool, cool. Mikael Bridges might make All NBA with the requirement of playing sixty five games and being that he plays all eighty two. That is more realistic than anything else possibly in this NBA season that may happen. However, please name me. And they pay Cam Johnson. Hopefully, Cam Johnson elevates his game. But name me what's going on at the point guard spot and out there. You got, so you got all right. So let me let me list off the name. What's going on at the center spot? Nick Claxton is getting fifteen games. Hold on, deep bench. I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to share the tab with you, man. I can't. So see you that. got here okay. Spencer Dinwiddie, Mikael Bridges, Cam Johnson, Jordan Finney Smith. Spencer Smith. Dinwiddie. So you got Ben Simmons. So I'm I ain't gonna hold you now. Ben Simmons. Makes this Nets team interesting because if he comes back healthy and he returns to four, that list looks vicious. And you got Cam Thomas on the bench too. He not getting no PT. He might not, but you got him as a possibility. I also like Lonnie Walker and Dennis Smith Jr. Again, I always say this. And matter of fact, hold on, because I might even have to go on 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 on, on the soapbox real quick. Um, you never want to. You never want to let go of a person from Fayetteville. That's all I'm saying. You can't, you can't, like, you can't, you can't, not at all, not at all. But I like that team, fellas. I really, truly do. So, I mean, I think they're a dark horse in the East. Kenny, what, 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 what what's your stance on, on, on uh, the Nets? Well, I think they're all right. You know what I mean? I think it's like, I guess it's like expectations are everything in life. That's what I always tell people. So it's like, when we say dark horse, is that saying we think they could finish top four? Like, I don't think that's possible, right? I feel like they could possibly get to the, Mm. It's it's on being not championship, but like possibly Western Conference Finals, where it's like, oh, that I didn't I, I didn't peg them to get here, like that year, like 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 the year the Blazers got to the Western Conference Finals. You might not have thought they were gonna get there. That's why okay. that's why I think of Dark Horse. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, anything actually. I mean, if there were six last year, even though a lot of that was on the. Well, court, they got swept. Yeah, and Joel and B was hurt. James Harden still ain't played that good. They got swept again. I said they played team. awful and they got swept. They didn't with, even score. With, they, they, scored, they scored over 100 one time in that game with the return of a Ben Simmons. Ben and if Simmons he comes back, he- and if he comes back healthy and motivated, mm-hmm. I think that bolsters that team drastically. I th- I agree, but that's right. the thing. like we got to give up on Ben Simmons. Like Clutch Sports gave up on Ben Simmons. Why are we still giving Ben Simmons a shot? You know what I mean? Rich Paul done gave up on him after everything. So it's like, how's that gonna be the difference? He praying, though? Trey. He praying. Praying. Ben Simmons. I don't look. Look, I ain't gonna knock when the brother healthy and he play. He can be a force. But these last two and a half years, I don't know. Hmm. Man, the dude they talking <laughs> about him. How you doing? Is posting pictures of his. Of his house and his jewelry, and it's like, bro, you got to get out there and ball, like. And we, you know, he, 
I've been hearing that he getting in the gym though. So oh, he's he making threes again on IG. No, 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 no. I've been hearing that he's been working out type stuff. So I, all I'm gonna say, look, it's the off season. Give the What's brother a little time. Give me the last chance. Look, man, What's we every year, every year we see NBA players go out there and play guys like us and be hitting every shot, and then people be like, "Oh snap, he didn't got nice." Bro, he's not playing on NBA talent out there. He's I don't know. It, it, it didn't sound like he's practicing on his game, though. It sounded yeah, like he's practicing Simmons on his can, physical. If Ben Simmons can make shots at Temporal Fitness over me, congratulations. He is an elite player. I don't, think he, I, don't, I, don't think that, I don't think that's what the reports were saying. It wasn't a basketball game workout type thing. It's more like working out physically. And that's what he needs to focus on, make sure he's, he's strong enough. On this it's team, open. but on this Nets team, he doesn't have to shoot. You got so everybody. Everybody surrounding you can shoot the ball. Everybody. Okay. Aren't, didn't they have better shooters with Katie? Yes. Kyrie, Joe. Like I would mm-hmm. rather have those as my shooters, and I'm facilitating. Yeah, JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick. I rather. I rather have that. So, are we talking about the 76ers team that ultimately threw Ben Simmons under the bus? Are we talking about the Brooklyn Nets team about. where he, when you had KD and Kyrie and them, injured. you were injured, and then they were also kind of injured too. Well, and it was a whole bunch of disc- it was a whole bunch of mess. I, it was a whole mess over I'm there. Kid. I'm with Kenny. I'm with Kenny on that. Bro, well, you got your uh, what's, what's your what's your UNC cat's name? I forgot his name. Chris. Danny Green. Well, you okay. got OGs like Danny Green who are respected in the league, and they got no respect for you. I feel like that speaks volumes at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like so- Joel Embiid is Joel Embiid, but when Danny Green, a champion, two time. It's like, bro, it's yeah. a problem. You know, I mean, you hear Kyrie, you don't hear uh, KD say anything positive about Ben Simmons. It's, they just leave it alone. And then Steven, and then Steven Jackson, I said on all the smoke that I, I, I think it was Steven Jackson. I don't know. I ain't gonna quote his name and be wrong, but um, I think he said somebody, somebody on the line said that Brett Brown coddled Ben Simmons too much. Like Brett Brown never forced him to work on his game. Brett Brown let him get by doing it, whatever he chose to do, and. Uh, that's how it went, and now that he's being now he's being challenged and taxed to actually be a basketball player, and not just go out there and do whatever whatever it is he want to do. It Doc Rivers won't put enough with the BS. Doc Rivers said either you gonna play or you gonna sit out, brother. You you pick. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. Like, okay, like, all right. Not old school. You know the old school just get tired of you. Then tough. Yeah, you okay. it's grim. I mean, I, I'm I'm hearing no love for Ben Simmons. That's cool. That's fine, Miss Danny. I still believe, love, yeah, I still believe the Nets are the dark horse of the East. But we gotta, we gotta wait and see. I'm gonna be, I'm, I, I like to be optimistic, fellas. I like to be. You optimistic. did say you was gonna clip this. Make sure you, make sure you clip that tape right there. Nets I got you. I got you. I got you. Eastern Conference. I got, I got you. I got you. But now, nah, fellas, um, I greatly appreciate this. We went a little bit over the time. We had some technical difficulties. Um. But I think overall, it was a good conversation. Did y'all have anything you wanted to say before we close up shop? Uh, for, for, let's let's not talk about the losers next time. Let's just keep. Bro, Paolo is not a loser. Okay, like I talked about specific players, not the whole team. Because we went over the teams, we would not have gotten past. I ain't gonna lie, Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. That's a that that's that should never happen again. And if you get up here, yeah, like, if you get up here and we, we can't give no love, I'm trying to give love to all the teams. So if we got I don't love anybody. Like if we got about the Spurs or the Rockets, Nets, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do one thing. Like, what are we gonna say? When? That's the only expectation we got. But it's not. But it's not for those teams, though. So again, the idea is literally just to say right. what. Like you know what I'm saying, like it's for specific players. But we're also gonna talk about other players when we talk about that specific player so for example when we we're talking about who do we talk about for the uh for the nba trade we mentioned harden we mentioned the other a couple other players like so that was the whole premise behind it just talking about like players because i agree if we're talking about detroit best case i see them as like a play-in team right now oh, oh, um, Lord, scared me again i don't know what he's about to say what play-in teams up here I thought he was about to say top six for a second. I was about to walk away. I was like, oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. I'm still upset y'all don't believe Dane can't win no championship on that on that Raptors squad. That's wild. Gary off the bench? You send that in the group chat right now. I got you. I got you. I got you. 
but now fellas i like i said i greatly appreciate this um and so we will definitely have y'all back on again i'll 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 take into consideration what you said so i'll try to mix it up a little bit maybe i won't do the the east or the west i'll just do 15 teams since y'all want to be divas about it so we'll see how about the pistons man Everybody got to get love, bro. Like, come on now. You got to rock with them Pistons, man. You got to rock with them Pistons. If the Lakers suck, I would expect nobody to ever talk about them. <laughs> we did suck, and I expected people to talk about us. <laughs> no. But now, ladies and gentlemen, hope you all have a good one. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. Also, if you, you know, if you're in – you ever need of an agent, you know, you can go talk to my man Kenny right here. He's one of the best agents in the game right here. If you ever go want to want to watch some takes that you might not like, Ira has you covered on. You're not going to like this. So I just want to give a little plug right there for my boys. But I guess I hope you all have enjoyed. I hope you all enjoy this one. Take care. Appreciate y'all. Shout out Brooklyn. Shout out Brooklyn. All right. That's a bad. That's a bad. <laughs>